Now, the fifth award for the night is the Creative Industries Award. This award is for outstanding international success across all creative industries, including music and performing arts, film, television, radio, software, and interactive content such as VR and AR. Writing, publishing and print media, architecture, design and visual arts, and digital games. To present this fantastic award, which we've had some incredible winners in the past of this export award, would you welcome the Australian Council for the Arts Executive Director, Development and Strategic Partnerships, Dr Georgie McLean. Thank you very much. I'm thrilled to be here to present this award on behalf of the Australia Council for the Arts. I'd like to think that the creative industries are a pretty unique form of export because whatever our global friends and neighbours think about Australia, our creative industries change how they feel about Australia. Our brilliant creative industries showcase our ideas, our talent, our innovation and of course our creativity. They change hearts and minds through experiences and transformative ideas through our human potential. And our finalists tonight all speak to that human potential. Let's hear about them. Catch the Sun Communications. <laughs> Flying Bark Productions. Kirikan. Native Tongue Music Publishing. Next Level Racing. Odd Games. Smitten Merino. And the winners are, no stranger to these awards, Next Level Racing. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to, to be here tonight. Um, I genuinely wasn't expecting an award, and that's why I don't have a speech prepared tonight. Um, for us, there's been a, a lot of blood, sweat and tears um, for the company to get to, to where it is today. Uh, we've got an amazing team that's innovative um, and thinks globally. Um, we're in the, after 13 years, we're, we're now in a position that our products are available in 53 countries around the world. Um, this year, we announced our partnerships with Ferrari, with Boeing, and with Ford, so it's been a, a very exciting journey to get to here. Um, and with tough economic conditions that look like that are coming and we're facing now, um, we're blessed that we're in a position that we're gonna to continue to, to innovate and grow. Um, yeah, thank you very much. And this is not only for myself, but our amazing team that's been pushing and driving for many years. Thank you very much. But you compete against some of the biggest entertainment businesses in the world. How do you succeed? Gosh, I was just going to start by saying I'm a massive fan and I'm a huge port supporter. Oh, there you go, Minister, another one. I think we're at, um, but how do you have the guts to do that? Because, you know, we hear about all these technology, these gaming businesses overseas. You're up against them. It's definitely a, a tough and ruthless industry. Um, I think the right decision we made very early was focusing on Australia um, and really building our, our brand and platform in Australia before we, we looked at overseas. So we spent um, the first seven to eight years of our business purely focusing um, on Australia before branching into the tough overseas markets. And, and did that give you a leg in the markets, that you'd build a track record here, you'd build a tribe, you had proven technology? Yeah, definitely. So we focused on, on building our brand in Australia, um, but, our, but our huge focus in terms of products was, even though we were in Australia, uh, bringing out products that were the best in the world. So we weren't looking to compete with products, 
um, but bring out world-leading products or best-of-class products. Wow, how inspiring is he? Congratulations, <laughs> what a great winner of Please. the Export Award Thank for you. the Entertainment Creative Industry. Good on you, mate.